The story begins with a letter from Egypt to Flat Stanley. He is invited to travel there for an archaeological project. Except Egypt is a long trip that Stanley is mailed to in an envelope. Going to the museum by mail, he is then greeted by a girl named Amasi. Rooms at the museum are filled with masks, statues, and coins. Egyptian criminals have been stealing artifacts from the museum. Amasi brings Stanley to her father who oversees the museum. Then when Stanley wanders through the market, he is captured and told to find the squirrels inside a tomb. Entering a small passageway, The plan is for Stanley to squeeze through the walls of the tomb. Getting there by camel is the easiest and quickest. Yesterday, Stanley was home, but now he was on an adventure and arrived at the tomb. Passing through the passageway wasn't easy and Stanley came across bats when he made it inside. Then he saw a large button at the end of the tomb. Inside he finds the secret giant squirrels. And then he finds another button which open a block of stone to the outside of the tomb. Night falls and Stanley overhears a plan for the squirrels to be stolen the next day. Getting this message to Mossy and her father is his next plan. Robbers Want to want Stanley to open the tomb the next day? He ex, 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 explain, explains to them and steal the scrolls and treasure for before anyone finds out. Vanishing into the sheet, Stanley goes to sleep until the next day. Everyone goes back to the tomb the next morning. Roberts and Stanley back through the narrow passageway into the tomb. Once to the hidden button, Stanley unlocks the tomb. Brave Stanley decides to point the robbers in the wrong direction to keep them from leaving. By now, the police have arrived outside where Stanley told them to meet him. Everyone from the town thanks Stanley for helping them capture the worst Robbers of Egypt. Re- rejoicing at home, Stanley it arrived in a package dressed as a mummy. Mummy. Yesterday he was in Egypt, but today he is back home with his family.